everyone. Today we're starting out with a clean face and I'm going to start out by moisturizing with the Grant Me Shelter Moisturizer. Next I'm taking the moisture tint in the color Fair with my foundation brush and I'm going to just put this on my face and then I'm going to go over it at the end and stipple it all in and really get it into my skin really well. I know a lot of brides really like for their makeup to be flawless looking and just kind of naturally beautiful and this really does a good job whenever you stipple it in like this. Next I'm going to take the Perfect Concealer and my V Perfection brush and I'm going to cover up my under eye bags and the darkness under there. Now with the warmth of my fingertips, I'm just going to kind of stipple that in even more to kind of make sure that this doesn't settle into any lines I have. Now I'm taking the concealer again, but with the Handy Helper brush, and I'm going to conceal any blemishes that I might have. This brush really helps the concealer to go on and it looks airbrushed. Now I'm filling in my brows with the Pebble Beach eyeshadow and the liner brush. Now I'm taking the lip brush and the lip chameleon and I'm actually using this as an eye base today. And all that I'm doing is putting it all over the lid and I'm just kind of rubbing it on the lipstick and putting it right on the lid part of my eye. Next I'm taking the Hot Chocolate Pressed Eyeliner and the Eye Contour Brush and I'm just making a V on the outer corner of my eye and I'm really spending a lot of time here to make sure that it's dark and that it's really well blended. This really is a good trick to make your eyes appear larger. I don't typically have an issue with that, but I think that big eyes are really gorgeous and that doe-eyed look is really pretty for the bride. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm going to put Ice Crystals eyeshadow with the utility brush. And I put it on to like the first maybe quarter of my lid as well as kind of like underneath my tear duct and kind of in the middle. I kind of messily put it in there because I really just want a big highlight in that area. Now I'm taking the Champagne Eye Rave and I'm mixing it with a little bit of water and with that lip brush that I used earlier. I'm just pushing this in between that hot chocolate on the outer corner and that ice crystals on the inner corner. And I'm only putting this on my lid just to add some extra sparkle. Next, I'm taking the Creamy Meringue eyeshadow and the Utility Brush and highlighting my brow bone. I didn't want to use such a frosty highlight for my brow bone. Now, I'm taking the Sticks and Stones eyeshadow just to help me blend out that deep brown that we used on the outer corner. Now I'm taking the black opal eye crayon and I'm lining my upper lash line right up next to my eyelashes. And I'm lining them on the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the black coffee pressed eyeliner with my liner brush and I'm going over that black opal eye crayon. Now I'm taking the concealer again and with my V Perfection brush I just cleaned up that edge to make it sharp. I went back with the eye crayon to make a wing and now I am back again with the black coffee eyeliner. Now I'm just cleaning up that outer corner again. Now this is the flesh lip liner and I'm just lining my lips out with this. This is the pink flamingo lipstick. And I'm just putting on a light coat of this and then I'm topping it all off with my Cajun Glow Lip Gloss. Now I'm putting on my lash primer. 
I'm setting my face with the HD setting powder in my Big Sweet brush. Now I'm taking the Romance blush with my Big Sweet brush and I'm putting it on and it is a beautiful pink color. And now I'm putting on my Nightlife Mascara. I hope that y'all enjoyed. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.